Do you believe it's easier to be a man or a woman? Um, I, I believe that biologically it's easier to be a man. I think societally right now it's probably easier to be a woman. Mm. Um, I mean, cause, I mean, it, what I mean by that is in society, when you look at things like, for instance, alimony, 90% of alum, 97% of alimony is paid from men to women. 84% of the time, uh, a child, primary child custody goes from the woman to the man. I think, um, when you look at a situation, like if there's a domestic dispute, men are going to jail. It's the women that are not going to jail yeah. in those kind of cases. Uh, I think women do have it well. And also there's when it comes to education, 68% of college graduates are now women. You are more likely to, I think you're something like six times more likely to get a master's degree if you're an African American woman than if you're an African American man. Now, uh, oh. you were, we're finding situations where the, suicide rate for men over 40 who've been divorced is nine times higher than the than the than the average than the the uh, nation, national average uh we're also finding that um men who have been zeroed out uh you know have serious serious emotional problems that happen uh to them and then there's uh there's a couple other studies um that happen with divorce seven 80 percent of divorces are initiated by women because I, I feel like they're being incentivized to divorce men um, through propaganda through the uh, again this is just, that's the only part that's in my opinion everything else i just said was right. statistic and so I do think it is easier now to be a woman. I do societally, biologically, I think it's easier to be a man and it will always be easier to be a man because there's a few things. Obviously we have advantages when it comes to strength and endurance, yeah. power, physical uh, durability. But I also think uh, we have advantages when it comes to, as a man, I have hundreds of ways to attract women. And as a woman, I don't have hundreds of ways to attract men. I have mm -hmm. maybe, maybe as many as four, probably one way to attract men. So, and if I don't have that one way, like he just doesn't find me physically attractive if, if you're a woman, uh, then he, you don't really have a second way to go around. The mm -hmm. thing is, most men right now are so incredibly desperate. 26% mm -hmm. uh, of men under the age of 30 are virgins, I think at this point. 33% uh, of men under the age of 30 have had zero sexual partners in the last year. Just outrageous numbers like this. So when you get to these numbers, you start to see societally, it's easier to be a woman. You have at more access to men uh, when it comes to... Um, online yeah. uh you have more access to men and also you can change your appearance using face app facetune yeah you have access to different ways to make money when it comes to like <laughs> patreon uh stuff like that um and then you know those things are still available to women and they don't even have to be fantastically attractive women either you know it's pretty average women can can make money doing that so i do think societally because of education uh there are more female military pilots than there are male kindergarten teachers right now. 5% of psychologists under the age of 30 are men. 5%. Five, let me say that one more time. 5% of psychologists under the age of 30 are men. Five. That means in the future, where the psychology will be just like, like so similar to how nursing and primary education is. It'll be completely dominated by women. So I, I do think there are these opportunities that, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, mm -hmm. but there's, necess there's um, opportunities that have been open to women to where I do think societally it's easier to be a woman, but as a man, you just have more, uh, there are more branches of opportunity open to you to be successful financially and to be successful uh, in relationships. That makes sense. Do you feel like social media and dating apps have been a net positive for the dating culture or do you think... Yeah, so so when it comes to women, so there's three, have I, you ever heard this before? There's three genders, no. high status men, low status men, and women. Those are the three <laughs> genders. High status men and low status men have nothing to do with each other. Uh, social media has absolutely benefited high status men, meaning men who can show relevancy, competency, or access to scarce resources. Those men have uh, outrageous numbers of women coming after them. I'll right. tell you right now, from the time I was 22 to the time I'm 45 now, the, 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 the way... One of the, the, the issues that happens, and I, a lot of guys who are in their early 20s don't realize it, but like my competition, I have a girlfriend now, but my competition for men are guys that look like Takashi 6 9 <laughs> uh, Machine Gun Kelly, and, and uh, you know, Post Malone, like lots of tattoos on face, like lots of coping going yeah, on, yeah. No, like no ability to fight, no ability to, no athleticism whatsoever. And in my, you know, when I was growing up in the 80s and 90s, that just wasn't what a mask, that wasn't a masculine uh, athletic attractive archetype for women that isn't attractive for them now. And so I feel like I don't really have much competition when it comes to like competing for women now. And most of the guys that I know that are in their late thirties, early forties, we feel the same way. I feel like the, the guys that are younger just aren't very good at being masculine because they're not taught to, or they haven't, they, they don't have the instruction manual on how to do that. And so uh, while the rest of the world may be telling men to not be masculine or calling their traits toxic, 
uh, the reality is if you stick with those traits, it's still way more attractive to women. So I think uh, men who are higher earners, men who are physically attractive, men who are incredibly talented, men who have some sort of skill set, some level of competency, some access to scarce resources. And this is this could be just the guy who hands out the artist wristbands over at Access, right? Mm-hmm. Just simply something as small as that the the guy the vip host who does all the girl comps over at at uh, omnia just simple as that just small access to scarce resources those guys social media has absolutely benefited right other men it's destroyed their lives mm-hmm. because what's happened is uh you have a you have a guy let's say he's an eight he's a, a lawyer who lives in wichita kansas and you have a girl let's say she's an eight i don't mean by physical attractiveness i mean just stratifying them as far as their you know, their market value uh, uh, in the dating market. Okay. You have an eight guy and eight girl. They both live in Wichita. The difference is the guy in Wichita would normally have married the girl in Wichita. But now the girl in Wichita is being flown out to L.A. to go be at the Ignite Party, the Maxim Party, the Playboy Mansion. Mm-hmm. She's going to uh, uh, New York Fashion Week. She's going to Swim Week, uh, stuff like that. And now yeah. she ends up like maybe or maybe not having sex with a celebrity or some rich guy or something like that. And so now the eight guy is not dating the eight girl in Wichita anymore. He's going for a seven, a six, a five, a four. And so he, the average guy is now being dis- decimated by the high status man. Mm. And so what you're finding now is that the middle class for men is sort of disappearing because of social media. There is no average social media. There's incredible social media or you're f- garbage. <laughs> That's it. And it sucks. It really does suck. Like, it, it, like with your stuff, like you, you're posting your um, podcast, right? Yeah. Well, that shows competency and relevancy. You have relevant guests on mm-hmm. and you're competent at doing a podcast. And it also shows like, I know that if I were to message you on Instagram, even before we, we obviously message, but even before so, I know you know how to use your Instagram. Yeah. I know you know how to post a picture. Do you know how many men just don't even know how to do that? They don't know it's how to shocking. post? You'd be, sh- walk around Walmart sometime and then <laughs> ask yourself, who's f- these men and then ask like ask a guy who's, who's stocking the shelves at walmart it's like do you have an instagram account do you yeah. have a twitter do you have anything they're like no we don't have anything you're just gonna find that it's just like all all social media has done is bifurcated men into two uh, uh it's it's increased the bifurcation meaning it's made a one species of high status men and another species of low status men and i would say the split is like 84 16 like 16 percent of men would be above that status poverty line and then the other 84 percent would be below it mm-hmm. I, I just like I legitimately i have clients come to me all the time they've been divorced and then getting them back in the dating market is so much harder now because on Tinder, but Tinder bumble and hinge, I believe are garbage. Uh, they're just, a, a, there's like five times as many men as, as women on there. Yeah. Anytime you see an attractive woman, a woman on Tinder bumble or hinge, they are um, generally trying to get you to go down their funnel to join their yeah. or their. Um, and 80% of men or, or the top 20% of men on Tinder bumble and hinge are getting 83% of the right swipes. Wow. Meaning Tinder bumble and hinge, just like social media is just reserved for a, a small group of men up the top, getting all the sex. And then all the men at the bottom, the bottom 80% getting next to nothing. That's crazy. I yep. didn't know it was scoot like that. Mm-hmm.